Thousands of volunteers will canvass Los Angeles County over the next few days so we have a better understanding of the homelessness crisis. The last time a census of unhoused people was conducted was almost a year ago. What authorities reported afterwards was a 4% increase in the homeless population. Not exactly. The most exact science with all this. Fox 11's Hal Eisner live in downtown L.A. to tell us more about this massive effort and how you can help. Well, you know, it is a massive effort, and, and basically what will happen is thousands of people will fan out across the county. Tonight it will be in the San Gabriel and the San Fernando Valleys. Uh, a lot of people just sitting in their cars, looking out their windows across the street, looking for homeless tents, looking for people who are homeless, to count them, to put the information into an app in their phone, information that will be processed, and in a couple of months we'll know what that data presents about the homeless here in Los Angeles County. It's not fair. 53-year-old Janet Barrett is worried about her future. She was recently denied the Section 8 housing subsidy that helped her get her apartment in the valley. You're being put it, back out on the street at a time when the mayor is saying we got to put people in housing. Right. Well, what's your feeling about that? I'm, I'm really upset about it. I love my place. For every one of the thousands on our streets, there are tears, anxieties, anguish. Thousands of volunteers will be out on the streets tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday, helping count the tents, the people, the boxes some of them live in. It's a process that's important. Many of our homeless in L.A. Uh, live in their cars and live in RVs, and so it's, uh, it's a difficult task. But Andy Bale says it is the way for the federal government to know how much money to send to Los Angeles to help the homeless. Funding depends on how many people we actually have devastated by homelessness throughout Los Angeles. And it also could, uh, could help us with strategy because uh, knowing how many people are in a certain area could help us set up uh, either interim housing in that area or innovative immediate uh, affordable housing in that area. Housing that can make a difference in the life of someone like Janet Barrett. Help us. Like you say you're going to do it. Well, that's what's going on. A lot of people trying to get out and help and volunteer. Tomorrow, counters will be in West and East L.A., Metro L.A., South L.A., Skid Row, and the Antelope Valley on Thursday. And uh, this afternoon, there was a, a meeting of business people and city officials. It was what they called a public-private partnership, yet another way of trying to deal with the homelessness issue in light of Karen Bass's efforts, the mayor's efforts, to try to get this problem under control. We're going to talk about that program coming up at 6 o'clock here on Fox 11. Back to you in the studio.